Welcome to Brownwood, which is the third of three town squares currently here in the villages. This is the newest one. And what you're seeing is beautiful life-size bronze statues of a cattle drive. And uh, Florida's crack a cowboy, which goes back to the early part of the century here in Florida, and these cattle towns that were down here, um, it's depicting a small cattle drive and uh, just what you see in a typical area here down here in Florida. So that's what I call it Paddock Square, I guess. And speaking of Paddock Square, let's go in now and uh, take a look around Paddock Square. Paddock Square going down to the first leg of the four legs of this square. Over on the right, just a little bit to the right, is Five Guys Burgers. It'll give you a little idea where we are. Um, now we're taking the second of the four legs of the square. And the entertainment and everything is off to your left. It'll always be off to your left. Uh, that's where the very center is where all the entertainment takes place. We're taking the left here again, it's all one way. And um, Bluefin is up here. And on the opposite corner is a Dunkin' Donuts. How about that? Barnstorm Theater right ahead, of, square ahead of you, right there. There's Barnstorm, and then on the right there's Scoopals, ice cream, and that's always good. Uh, and at the very right-hand corner here is City Fire. And this is called the Bluefin. Great seating outside, great seating inside. Food's really good. Service is really good. Um, very popular place right now here in the villages, and things are going good inside. Very nicely appointed. Um, nice bar inside. One in, one outside, one inside. How do you beat that? Um, everything's just uh, really first rate. We've eaten about four or five times here. And it's, been very good each time we've eaten here, so we like it. Brownwood Theater. Let's take a look at a, one of the movie houses. <clears throat> they have um, great seating, comfortable seats. I think they reclined too, if I remember. And uh, great lighting and lighting. And look at the lighting going up the staircase, so us old flats don't fall down. It's railing down the middle. It's easy to get in and out. While I'm in there, you'll never guess what comes on the screen while I'm while I'm in here. Listen to this. For those of you from the villages, how funny is that? I mean, how did that come on while I was in there? Cody's, three of them, one in each town square. Great, and uh, one of the signatures, of course, is food, but the signature on the outside is that little pickup truck. It's kind of cute, novel idea. And they have one here, and this is a, obviously the newest of the three Cody's. Actually, it isn't, but anyway. World of Beer, Flamingo, Flamingo on the back of a guy's golf cart, go figure. World of Beer inside, very good, all kinds of beers. If you like beer, this is a place to stop. You can also get something to eat to go along with the beer, which is nice. Very nicely appointed inside here and very comfortable. You can eat inside or outside. It's, uh, it's well done. City Fire. There's actually one down in Lake Sumter Landing. There's one here in Brownwood. Nice spot, great location. And of course, if you're in City Fire, where's the fire? Well, you look in the kitchen, which is wide open to the public's eye. It's right there. City Fire. How about that? Great inside dining, inside bar. And if you go outside, Outside dining and an outside bar. Watch the people go by, great place to people watch. And uh, they have it all right here at City Fire. Next up is a nationwide chain called Five Guys. And boy, if you like burgers, <laughs> you gotta stop at this place. They're really, really good. And uh, not only are the burgers great, 
And by the way, if you order a burger, get everything on it because it is really good when it's loaded up. It's got a great taste to it. It's a meal in itself. <clears throat> also, uh, they have uh, great french fries. So make sure you try the french fries. You'll love them. Five guys. Next is a really interesting place called Shoe Biz. Shoe Biz is what it says, Shoe Biz. And they have all kinds of shoes and anything related to shoes, people. Great inventory in here. It's, uh, there's quite a selection of uh, items in here. It's, it's uh, well worth, if you're in the area, to take a peek and take a look. And finally, uh, the Spice and Tea Exchange. That looks really interesting. That's where the stuff buy to free tea that you can try. See how you like it. Spice and Tea Exchange. At the center of Brownwood is Paddock Square, and at the center of Paddock Square is a little log cabin. And this little log cabin is where all the entertainment comes from every night, 365 days a year. And here is a look out at the where all the audience is and all the dancers are, but golly, there's nobody there. But I think we're going to have somebody there in just a few seconds. We're going to see Johnny Wild and the Delights. So let's have a little music. Farmer's Market, Brownwood's Paddock Square, every Saturday morning, 9 to 2, April to October, and 9 to 1, May to September. Over 70 vendors, local farmers and produce vendors, and a few kitchen-related crafts. Enjoy.
I've had a lot of keem lime pie in my life. Okay. Well, this is a severe test. You're the right one to test. Yep. Okay. You know, key lime pie is like a, it's like a sweet potato pie. It's a whole lot like martinis. Some like them with a little more remove, mm -hmm. vermouth, and some don't like them with vermouth at all. Some like them with vodka, and some like them with gin. So, yeah, that's... This is very good. I try to have a balance. This is not junk. This is really good. It's sweet and tart, and it's super smooth. Yeah. And there's no bitter aftertaste. Wow. So, there you go. I'm going to have to go to my second bite to make sure. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> mm. But right off the bat, you know that there's oh, yeah. nice and it's it's super just great. enough, but it isn't overpowering, you know. A couple of new things coming to the villages. Actually, more than two, but just these two I'd like to mention. The lots of brownwood, apartment-style living in the villages. And secondly, the 150 plus rooms plus a spa, spring of 2020, right in the Brownwood area. Oh, hey, I almost forgot a couple of bridges <laughs> in the Brownwood area. This one's behind Cody's uh, and behind the Brown, the Bonstrom Theater. This is going to be a golf cart trail that goes to a bridge that gets over this water that gets you to the edge of State Road 44. Now from there we're going to cross over State Road 44 and if you look uh, in just a moment in the background you are going to see there they are those two big cement towers. They've got a bridge that I'm going to show you, pinning around to show you, and this bridge is going to go on those two cement towers and get you from one side of State Road 44 on to the other and south to the new areas of the villages. State Road 44 goes from Crystal River on the Gulf of Mexico to New Smyrna Beach on the Atlantic Ocean. How about that? More construction everywhere. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. That really helps. Hit the like button. That really helps too. And uh, hit the little bell down below and you'll get notified when we do a new video and so you'll be able to follow along some of the new ones we're doing. We're getting, uh, we got some more coming in the villages and we've got uh, a couple with the Corvette and the motorcycle that ought to be interesting. Um, so keep an eye on that. And also to the folks that have the shops and the kiosks and everything in Market Square and the ones that are regular in the villages, please understand that I don't have the time uh, to shoot everybody. I wish I could, but I, I don't. So I tried to give you a sampling of the Brownwood businesses, the restaurants and the shops and everything. And I, I tried to give you a sampling of, uh, I didn't stop at every kiosk on the Saturday marketplace. I just, you know, it'd be a two hour, three hour video. But I tried to just give you a sampling, hoping you would go out and look more closely uh, at the Saturday morning market. That's really a great market. And that was just this past week. And it even gets busier and more 
more uh, people selling out there as the uh, wintertime crowd gets down here. So keep an eye on that. Anyway, thanks a lot for uh, watching the video, and uh, I'll see you next time.